Hello everyone, I'm and I'm Jerry, and welcome to, or welcome back to our traveling channel. Where are we at today? We are at Disney's Riviera Resort. So, um, this one is really excited. Like, giddy, like childlike, just saw Santa for the first time. <laughs> it's so fun. So we'll give you a tour of the room and tour of the resort and let you know what our thoughts are on the whole place. We have a tower studio room on the eighth floor, and Emily's using her phone to unlock the door. Door unlocked. Here we go. All right, so here is the room. It is it is small. It is a studio. You may be asking, well, where's the bed? It's a Murphy bed, which we'll show you here in a second. So over here, you have a microwave. There is a fridge there. And then up top, you got a few little essentials. Over here, got a little desk area. You got a view out at the little lake out there. We'll take a look outside here in a minute. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. Now I will say the bathroom is very large, plenty of space, real nice bath there. Nice shower. Like I said, you got plenty of space here. A little side mirror there for the ladies. Let's see what we got here. Closet with everything you need there. So real nice. You got a ton of space, like I said, in the bathroom and closet. Now let's take a look at this Murphy bed. All right, so Miss Emily is going to try and use her strength to pull this Murphy bed down. We've got the little blocks out of the way there. There we, there we go. All right. <laughs> Just took a little muscle. Oh, that USB down. That's nice. Yeah, so on the side here, you got USBs and plugs for all your little uh, phones and anything else you need to charge up. Got this great picture, a little Disney picture there. And you got the same little plugins on both sides of the bed. You can see that there. And so if Miss Emily can pull the Murphy bed down. Anybody can pull this Murphy bed down. Anyone can pull it down. So here's kind of what the room looks like with the bed down. You still got plenty of room to walk around. Like I said, small room, but good enough, especially if you're at the parks all day. Let's take a look at the balcony. We got Epcot over there, so we should be able to see the fireworks, which is great. Got the gondolas there, which is cool to look at. Tower of Terror right over there. Nice little lake with the fountain there. And the swan and dolphin is right over there. And I'll put the link to that up there, which we have stayed at recently. So, and I love the buses. And you do have two chairs out here in a place to put your drinks or books if you're out here enjoying the view. For those Hidden Mickey fans, on the gate outside the window there, you can see Hidden Mickey right there. They do have a really easy to use thermostat in here, which is really nice. That is not always the case at places you stay at. So we had the DVC salesman uh, give us a little tour of the one bedroom. And my, oh my, how completely amazing. Yeah, <laughs> the one bedroom was really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Had a nice like full kitchen. Had a little eating area, beautiful living area. And that's a Murphy bed that pulls down. Yeah, so cool. And then that tub was, oh. It was nice. Life goals. The three bedroom is 
the biggest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is so <laughs> nice. So this is the kitchen living area of it. Yeah, square footage wise, it's with no exaggeration larger than our home. Oh yeah, look at that dining room table. Yeah, like that dining room table wouldn't even fit in our living room. Has a full washer dryer, um, which is awesome. And here's the master bedroom. With a very cute little um, Disney portrait. Me doing full jumping jacks in the shower. <laughs> and this is one of the two other bedrooms. Um, the third bedroom looks just the same as the second. And here's the view from that three bedroom. You can it, see the, yeah, the deck yeah. is great. So we have this wonderful little sitting area off the, the main lobby. We're lucky right now no one is out here. Kind of gives you a view of the back of the resort itself. Yeah, you got the gondolas, chess, someone's playing cornhole over there. And we'll go take a look at the pools here, see how nice these pools are. Here is one of the first pools here at Disney Riviera. Really nice, really nice. Lots of, yeah, lots of seating for sure. Covered seating as well. It's a beautiful pool. So a neat little feature they have with these chairs. Is you can have like a full like lounge or you can just sit upright. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Yeah, and the backs recline and everything. So that's real nice. Lots of seating options for you. Yeah. Here we have the second pool area at Disney's Riviera. The awesome slide over the slide is great. How fun is that? This is really nice too if you have little ones, which they have at both pool areas. In this kiddie pool area, it might probably the best one I've seen at any resort. This is so awesome. How if you're a little four, five, shoot, two, three-year-old, you're gonna go wild at a place like this. I'm 34 and I can go wild at a place <laughs> like that. <laughs> We got Dumbo up there filling up the huge bucket, which eventually will tip over and splash down. Here it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Splashing everyone down below. So close to the front of the Disney Riviera is where they have the bus pickup, which is nice. So you don't have too far to go to catch your bus to wherever park you may be going to on this day. So we are going to go grab breakfast this morning at the Primo Piatto. If I'm pronouncing that right, let's go see how breakfast is here. Super nice. I love these machines. They are awesome. So Miss Emily here is real excited about these mini shaped waffles. So. I am. I thought they only did Mickey shaped and now they do minis. Look at them. She's got a bow. So this is Bar Riva, which is their little quick side service here right by the pools. And it is a super nice setup right by the pools here. Very nice. Disney Riviera has a very similar layout to Disney's Alani in Hawaii, where you have, where you walk in, you have the main lobby area there, but then it branches off to the left and then it branches off to the right with the main buildings there with having this kind of big courtyard area right in the middle. So if you've been to Alani uh, in Hawaii, the Riviera has a real similar kind of layout to it. I think my only hang up, and this is like really small, is so the theme of it is like the French and Italian Riviera. Um, not that I've ever been there. I've, and I've been to France and uh, I've never been there, but it's just, um, I don't know if it's because they tried to blend the two, it got a little lost in translation, or um, what happened. Like, the place is really nice, but like with almost every other Disney resort, the theme of it, like you feel like whatever, name the resort, you feel like that you're there. It like slaps you in the face. Yeah, and this one, like I said, it is super nice. It's very swanky, it's very upscale. Um, a little bougie. Yeah, very bougie. Um, and I see touches of like the theme, but it's just, I don't feel as all encompassed in it yeah. as I have. I mean, like I said, this is a minor critique. Yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's still a beautiful place. Very. So they have these paintings all throughout the Disney Riviera and they are awesome. Especially love this one here. Whew. So this one's one of your favorites, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I love, I love the Little Mermaid. 
like Love, 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 and I've been a real big fan of Tangled as well. So those are two awesome yeah, The Little Mermaid one is excellent. Both of them are really good. So for those that don't know, the gondolas come right into the Riviera here. So it gives you another way to get to the parks here at Disney, which is really nice. So look at this nice little sitting area right off the resort. It's super nice. Got a fire pit. Got all these rocking chairs. Yes. Super nice. So this walkway that goes completely around the pond, lake area here. So we have the Riviera there and then Old Port Royale here with its different sections and areas. They look really nice. Old Emily here is going to try and get in the hammock. This should be fun. <laughs> Don't go. flip. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> You got it. So on the other side of the walkway, we have Sebastian's Bistro Look, that looks like an awesome place to eat. Here is the Tangled Mural at the Disney Riviera. How awesome. There's the lanterns. Just incredible. beautiful night here. So let's talk a little bit about the Disney Riviera. Let's talk about it. Uh, so first off, um, we were able to get it checked in here at two o'clock, which was nice. Super nice. So on the app, they you have all these times you can tell them where you're going to you know, try and be here by. Um, we selected 2.30 and we got the notice at two o'clock. It was uh, like a, you could bypass the front desk. So that was nice. And um, everything's done on your phone, so like it's your key, it's your everything, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so, yep. So 2 o'clock we were in, which was a little bit earlier than the normal, like, 4 o'clock. Yeah, normal check-in time, so a little extra fun at the Riviera. <laughs> Overall, this this place, the Disney Riviera, is great. It's beautiful. It is um, very classy, very elegantly done, and like, very, just very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. Fixing your hair. I'm like this. This Florida community. I'm like big hair, don't care. Like '80s rock band. Girl. Bigger the hair, like, closer to God. That's right. That's what us Southerners say. <laughs> it is just like today. So, uh, um, in this video, I've named so uh, there's the lake pond, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, right by the Riviera here, and then there's another resort that is on really surrounds the other side and I've, I think I've called like three different names it is the Caribbean resort I've called it a bunch of stuff yeah I've called it a bunch of stuff but it's it's the, <laughs> the Caribbean beach resort the, yeah it's Caribbean beach resort so uh, which is it's really cool it's one of the older resorts here on Disney but but it's theming it is it awesome is awesome yeah and it is very immersive in its theme and it is this is super cool. Really cool so place is great the pricing it is all over the place um normally it is way up there and the the room we got you know was handicap accessible and and the price was still not cheap but um what's up my man <laughs> but uh um so you know, keep on you keep your eye on it it is for, affordable enough for anyone to come you know and stay a night i mean it's just just the experience security is awesome and, <laughs> security is awesome and security is awesome <laughs> yes so uh Come check out the Disney Riviera if you got a chance to. You'll love it. You'll love it. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.